The US Navy recently has stated that a team of its engineers has developed an improved 105mm howitzer for arming the US Air Force's AC-130 gunships. US Air Force's fleets of AC-130W Stinger II and AC-130J Ghost Rider aircraft are currently armed with a modified version of a howitzer from the US Army which was first deployed starting in the 1960s. The aging gun is no longer in operational use anywhere else in the US military and hence sustaining the small number of these guns for use by the US Air Force's AC-130s is an increasingly expensive and complex affair. So a step has been taken to mitigate the situation. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why the AC-130 gunship of the US Air Force is getting a new gun system. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. The AC-130 is a heavily armed aircraft carrying an array of anti-ground oriented weapons that are integrated with sophisticated sensors, navigation and fire control systems. It's capable of delivering precision firepower or area saturation fire over a target area for a long period of time, at night or in adverse weather. The AC-130 primary missions are close air support, air interdiction and armed reconnaissance. The gunship is equipped with 30mm cannon and can support a range of guided munitions like AGM-176 Griffin missile or GBU-39 small diameter bomb. Apart from being armed with the M102 105mm cannon. The M102 105mm cannon was modified to be fired from the left rear side door of the AC-130. To accommodate the cannon, the rear side firing 40mm guns were replaced by the radome that formerly had been installed in the door cavity. That change provided enough space for the 105mm gun to be mounted in the doorway in place of the radome. The gun was first used in the latter stages of the Vietnam War. It has a rate of fire of 10 rounds per minute maximum, 3 rounds per minute sustained. The range is 11.5 kilometers or 7.1 miles, 15.1 kilometers or 9.4 miles with a rocket assisted projectile. According to a press release that Naval Sea Systems Command NAVC, put out earlier this month, engineers from the Naval Surface Warfare Center Dahlgren Division, also known as NSW CDD or just Dahlgren, located in Virginia, led the project to develop a replacement for the modified M102 howitzers. The team has built and delivered at least one prototype of that weapon. The US Navy's release refers to this howitzer only as the Gun Aircraft Unit GAU. Viewers may note that GAU is just a standardized prefix in a joint Air Force Navy designation system that's typically used for guns meant to be placed on aircraft. For example, the 30mm Bushmaster II cannons that the AC-130W 
and AC-130J gunships possess are designated under the same system as GAU-23As. From the beginning of the development, a lot of focus has been given to teamwork. GAU project engineers travel to Wright-Patterson, Robbins, Agland, Hurlburt Field and Cannon Air Force bases during development to conduct testing and collaborate directly with users. Similarly, gunners and technicians have also come to Dahlgren for discussions. As per NAVC's release, the previous iteration of the AC-130's 105mm gun system comprised the M102 howitzer and the M137A1 recoil mechanism, which are no longer supported by the Army, meaning that an upgrade was necessary due to the obsolescence and advancements in technologies since the original recoil mechanism was designed. It added, the upgrades to the 105mm GAU are sweeping. However, the engineers at Dahlgren were careful to ensure that the functionality, accuracy and usability of the weapon remain largely the same. Matthew Buckler, the gun weapon system lead mechanical engineer on the project at Dahlgren, said in a statement, This has become a much more reliable system with less maintenance. If we can get a system that's more reliable, that's more repeatable, that works and that allows the warfighter to complete their mission every time, that's a huge benefit for the warfighter. AC-130 gunships remain a critical component of U.S. Air Forces. Work is progressing to mount a next-generation weapon on the gunship and Lockheed Martin has stated a few months earlier that it had completed factory acceptance testing for the AHEL or Airborne High Energy Laser and then handed the weapon over to the U.S. Air Force. So, U.S. Air Force feels that the AC-130s will continue to play an important role in the foreseeable future and hence an upgraded gun system was needed. It's likely that after testing, the new guns will be produced and incorporated into the gunships as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.